Hello everyone! Welcome to my Saturday special doll repaint. Not so long ago, I've got such a two-figure BJD dolls from a Banggood online store. And now it's time to show them to you. I will start with this one today and the next week Saturday I will show you the second doll. So, this is such a tiny plastic doll, made as a model figure for sketching and drawing. It's 11 cm big and it costs just about 6 euro on Banggood. The link will be here like always in the description under this video. Of course she is very good posable, you can move her legs, arms and torso in all directions, but this is quite normal for such a doll because she was made to pose for artists. Here you can see a couple of pictures of her. But this is also a very delicate and fragile thing. You see, one of her hands just fell off because I was moving her maybe not so gentle, but it's of course very easy to put it back in. See, and now the whole arm fell off. Of course, this doll is not made for playing, but for creating a very pretty body posture and let it stand while you're drawing it. But what's wrong with this arm? Here is also such an iron plate where the doll can stand. She has two magnets in her heels and because of the attraction between the magnet and the iron plate, the doll doesn't fall. But you can see the magnets are not glued to her feet and they just stay on the plate if you leave the doll up. I think I should glue them myself. And here we have also the whole set of extra hand with different gestures. Her head can be removed easily, it's very good for customizing. And here is also such a plastic display stand. I definitely like the way this doll looks and how she can pose. She looks like a very cute kid, but of course you cannot use it as a doll to play because of her very fragile joints. You can use it as a model figure for drawing or as an art object for decoration. And this is exactly what we are going to do today. You know, I like challenging myself. Let's try! She has a very specific face mold. She has almost no chin and there is no place for her mouth. So I need to think how to solve this problem. This plastic is not thick enough to mold it with a Dremel tool. So I will have to find another solution. And for now I will first sketch her eyes and eyebrows.
I still try to sketch a mouth, but no, it will not look good. At least I'm not a fan of such chibi faces. So no problem, if there is no place for a mouth, there will be no mouth. You ask me all the time to experiment with my style? Here it is, something you've never seen before, or at least something I've never made before. Then I start contouring her face. Here I use the same techniques like for my Monster High dolls. Light brown, dark brown, light pink and then brighter pink for a blush. Then I take my watercolor pencils and start working on her eyes. Here is also everything approximately the same like with Monster High dolls but 3 times smaller. If standard Monster High doll is about just 30 cm big, then this tiny thing is just about 11 or maximum 12 cm high. So you can imagine. And like always I use Mr. Super Clear sealant to protect my work. I give her a little bit of eye makeup. Then I apply some highlights with acrylic paint. And now let's go really wild. I've got here in the local store a bag with pompons and now we're going to glue them on the doll's head.
and don't forget the tiny red nose. made a cute and fluffy jumpsuit for her and decorated it with the same pompons. And here is my little hero! She's so tiny and cute, isn't she? Just to show her real size, I've made such a strange picture of her together with my latest Monster High doll that I've shown you yesterday. So, if you enjoyed my little experiment, put your like under this video. Because your likes and your comments are actually the only important things that help us YouTube bloggers to develop and to grow. So put your likes, but just if you really liked it. Subscribe if you like those and see you soon. Bye!